No. No. I don't think we'll be having them again here at Lumna Acres, but we gave it a try. <laughs> Now we're gonna make our cracker. We're gonna grab a pot. So I'm just grabbing a pot that has higher sides on it, not just the front pan. Because I say it's like they call it crackling because it likes to pop and crackle all around. So I want to make sure you get something tall enough that'll keep everything in and it doesn't jump all over the place on you. I'm gonna preheat it. I think for this we might need the Trusty old apron. Don't want to ruin our clothes. Now that the pot is preheated, we're gonna go ahead and add our bits in there. You don't gotta worry about greasing it or anything. They'll take care of that on their own. Now we're just gonna stay here. We gotta just cook these down until all the fat cooks off them and they get real crispy and brown. While we're cooking, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt to them. You wanna do it on a medium high heat, keep an eye on it. If you have to turn it down, you don't wanna burn them. So once it's all cooked down, I'm just gonna put a paper towel in a bowl. Put it in the bowl and let them cool off and get some of the grease off them before we eat them. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna try them for the first time. Yes. Kinda tastes like bacon. Uh, not, not in love with it, but it's not uh, terrible. I love it, it. Didn't like it? <laughs> no. I don't like it. Do you like it? It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but it's not. <laughs> no. 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 I don't think we'll be having them again here at Lumna Acres, but we gave it a try. So I think a lot of that was my fault with the crackling. Our stove here goes from being good temperature to getting hot like that really fast. I think I kind of burnt them. So if you guys have made the cracklings before in the past and you've had good luck, let me know what your techniques are. This was our first time here at Lumna Acres trying it. I know I had somebody commenting in the videos yesterday on the lard that uh, they were from Cuba and that growing up they did this kind of stuff all the time. So if you've done this stuff before and you've had really good luck, let me know what your recipe is and next time we'll try it. So the cracklings might have been a failure here for us to eat. We didn't enjoy them, but over here at Lumna Acres, it's kind of neat. Nothing goes to waste. We didn't like them, but you know what? I bet you the chickens are gonna love them. Let's see, we'll give it to them and see what they think. I let the cracklings cool off. I put it in the their food dish. Let's see what the ladies think. <laughs> Might have been a failure here as far as it goes for us humans eating them but I'm pretty sure the chickens don't mind it. They got a nice little treat this afternoon. So I guess it wasn't that big of a failure. The chickens won. <laughs> and that's just another great reason to keep chickens. If you cook something and you don't like it, it's not a waste completely. Turn it into eggs. If you have leftovers, you don't gotta throw them away. Turn them into eggs. That's what we love doing here. Actually, let's go see if we got any eggs right now. Oh snap, look at that little treat. I almost stepped on it, you see it? The ducks are hiding one right there for us. Oh yeah, plenty of eggs here.
There's the proud rooster. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Oh yeah, don't forget, go over to Instagram at Lumna Acres. We're over there, posting a photo a day. You can follow us on Facebook too. Thanks for watching.